Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It's Monday the 2nd of October. I'm Nigel Croft. In this short video, we'll be looking at the charts on the Hang Seng Index. What we'll see is that on the weekly, we hit long-term resistance. The index has since come back. We're now at the bottom of an uptrend. We've got downside momentum and the four hour chart looks vulnerable as the moving averages roll down. Let's look at those charts. So here we have the weekly. So each candle represents uh, one week's trade. And you can see that um, last week we, we, we went into the resistance um, that was prevalent from back in May and June 2015. And we, we didn't go any higher. Um, the, the market petered out and we've now drifted. On this weekly, you can still see that the uptrend is in place. The moving averages are still moving up, uh, perhaps slightly overextended from the moving averages. So be no surprise if there was further consolidation. Momentum still quite strong on the weekly measure with the RSI at 65. Um, but the, uh, uh, the MACD, the short term, has moved below the longer term, um, which is indicative that that momentum is being lost. On the daily, um, here you can see that uh, we've now pulled back to the 50-day moving average. That's still moving up, so is giving support, um, although at the moment we're trading virtually bang on it and earlier today we did trade below. But as I said, because it's moving up, it's still giving support. To the upside, you can see that the 20 day is now rolled down. And if I was to draw a trend line, the, the lower boundary would just be below where, where we are, probably about 27, 250, somewhere around about there. On momentum, um, you can see that uh, the RSI is now down at 46.92 and has broken down and does look like we are suffering from negative momentum. And that's confirmed with the MACD um, indicating a sell as the short term is below the longer term and as the short term moves below the zero level. So it looks like it's vulnerable to testing this 50 day. And if that fails, one would expect the support uh, which I'll show you later from this 18, sorry, the 18th of August and then the 11th of August to be tested. Uh, I'll give you those exact levels later, but you can see them on the chart here and here. On the four hour, I'm starting to look vulnerable on uh, this outlook as the moving averages have rolled down and we're just getting a bearish uh, signal coming out of the 20 as it crosses the 50 as both of them are moving down. They're also above the market so as they, they press down they'll cause resistance and cause the index to, uh, to shift to the downside. Uh, the 200 four hour still moving up uh, that would be a solid support level it's presently at 26.658. Uh, here you can see that the RSI is below uh, 50, 42 spot 04. Potentially we've had a double bottom there, so be aware of that. Uh, but I would expect, given the downside um, coming from those moving averages, that to move lower again. And the MACD are negative as the short term is below the longer term and both below zero. Looking at the support and resistance levels, um, on resistance we've got the 20 day 27.782.73 uh, and then the high of the 12th of September 28.248 uh, with support as I mentioned 18th of August that's at 26.951.92. And then the 11th of August is 26.863.71. So on the Hang Seng, uh, the key takeaways from this video should be that we hit a long-term resistance. 
um, we've pulled back we're now at the bottom of the uptrend we've lost upside momentum and the four hour moving averages look vulnerable many thanks for watching the video um, please remember these videos are for educational purposes only and are my opinion and they're not an investment recommendation